Hey guys, welcome back to Mercedes Lounge. This is the 2023 Mercedes AMG GLF 45 SUV. We are going for a test drive. Show you guys this gorgeous GLF 45. The exterior of this GLF 45 is the digital white. This car has the AMG 9 package, which means all the window surrounds are finished in black. Under the hood of this car is a 2 liter inline 4 turbo engine which produces 382 horsepower. It has an 8 speed automatic transmission. Wheel arches finish in the same color as the MG9 package black. Front tires 255 35R21. These are 21 inch rims. And the front discs are perforated red brake calipers. This car has a turbo for Matic Plus all-wheel drive system and uh, which means that's a variable torque system that can send up to 100% of power to the rear wheels to make this a rear wheel drive car in the race mode and uh, very good looking front headlamps right here Panamericana grille with the MG branding on the right hand side uh, It looks good the rare design LED lights, MG badging on the left, GLF45 on the right hand side. This car has the MG performance exhaust system, quad exhaust tailpipes, finished in black chrome, very simple rear diffuser. Let's see what we have in the trunk about 15 cubic feet of storage. electronic trunk lid and I love this rear spoiler on the roof let's see how much space is in the back decent size uh, space in the back storage behind each seat climate control systems at the center it has a panorama roof and a handlebar right here with the light fixture on on either side right here and I love the contrast in the seats never gray with black MB text there is a speaker system right here as well as storage down here And this is what we're working with memory seating for the driver power memory seats one two three and uh, it's a good balance of power practicality and money about 69,000 almost 400 horsepower however it's a two liter inline four engine this car actually has the AMG drive units I will set it to the Spot Plus mode. And uh, the seats are pretty, pretty decent, very nice. AMG drive units to adjust your dynamic select options. These are the drive modes, slippery, individual mode, comfort, sport, Sport Plus and uh, race mode. And uh, the car has the AMG Performance steering wheel with the flat bottom design. Finish in Alcantara as well as uh, leather. Very nice grip, paddle shifters behind the steering wheel. And uh, visibility is pretty good. Feels fantastic. I'll adjust my uh, 
side mirrors here. Under, so under the hood of this car is a 2 litre inline 4 turbo engine and believe it or not from a 2 litre produces 382 horsepower pretty impressive and uh, it has an 8 speed automatic transmission shifts are very very seamless the MBUX infotainment system that we've all come to love at the front 10 and a quarter inch display I'm gonna press the menu button here for the climate control system and turn off the AC system press it back and this is the MBUX navigation system which is standard in the GLA 45 there is also a trackpad down here which provides haptic feedback which means we can browse all these menus there's a phone menu navigation radio media comfort menu track pace mg performance mercedes me and apps and settings i'll go back to the mg performance and uh, set it to the sport plus mode which allows us to look at the engine data And uh, there is a head-up display system at the front. Let's see if we can actually adjust it. it. Looks like it was off. I just turned it back on. You can see the direction of travel, the speed, and uh, driver assistance. Uh, package options as well Wow that feels good Well there was a bit of an understeer very slight understeer when you accelerate but Overall, it's very well balanced. The seat height is uh, it's quite different compared to a CLA 45. You gotta get used to it. Yeah, the seat are, it's not very comfortable, I think. On a scale of one to 10, I'd give these seats a seven. actually provides a very weird height ride height uh, it is an SUV or a compact SUV Overall, in terms of visibility, it's uh, love the size of the windows, gives you enough visibility all around the car. It's also quite good looking at the back. It's 
So far the car feels very solid, the 8 speed automatic transmission does a phenomenal job of uh, power distribution, uh, gear changes are very solid. Uh, in Sport Plus mode, very stiff suspension. Let me set it down to the Sport mode, which pretty much dials down everything else. Feels very good. In uh, comfort mode, it's a very rewarding experience driving the car. So price on this GLA45 typically starts at $54,000, about $55,000. And that's MSRP, which means uh, based on the options you select, the price does go up. Now this one is priced at 60, 65,000. So the price on this uh, GLA is uh, 69,000. And uh, what I love about this car again, cruise control options on the left hand side, on these touch sensitive buttons. Love how it grips. So for, I think for everyday driving it's okay probably set it to the sport mode or the comfort mode in sport plus and race mode it's it's a very stiff ride and uh, displays the front the digital instrument cluster 10 and a quarter inch has a lot of data metrics you can adjust the MBUX infotainment system with the trackpad change your designs and displays set it to the sport mode and that's the sport mode you can go back set it to the super sport mode And uh, it's interesting in the Sport Plus mode, I can feel a lot of response from the steering wheel. I can actually, around the corners, this car has what is known as the AMG Ride Control. So it actually almost leans into the corners in a way. So there is a lot of responsive feel from the steering wheel itself. Oh, it's a fun car to drive. So again, I know some of you might have an opinion about the price. It's almost $70,000 for compact SUV, but it's an AMG. Feels very sporty, but I think at about 15 grand, you're in the GLE territory, but it's not for everyone. Some people will prefer to get this car because of where you live, in terms of parking, driving. Uh, if you live in a small city where space is tight, I think this is just right. Uh, you have power, it's practical, it has off-road capabilities and uh, decent space. You're not going to have a lot to complain about. Obviously if you have $15,000 more, you can get a GLE, at least the entry level MSRP for the GLE is about $85,000, $89,000.
I love the seats for the passenger power memory seats one to three love the brushed aluminium at the front here very soft material up here on the upper dash and the center armrest also is very comfortable when you're driving uh, we can set it to the sport plus mode engage the paddle shifters Paddle shifters are really, really quick. Oh, that is solid. Oh, that feels fantastic. So in uh, race mode, obviously you can take off and uh, really feel the power of the AMG car, rather the engine. Yeah, it's a very rewarding drive in this mode. Right guys, that's a look at the GLA 45. If you're looking for a new car, practicality and uh, the drive experience, it's pretty decent. Um, has 360 degree camera system which is uh, good for self-parking and um, lets you see all around very well and that's really a look at the 2023 Mercedes AMG GLA 45 if you're looking for a new AMG compact with uh, good practicality and good um, sense of drive and fuel you should get a GLA 45 it's not for everyone it's smaller than you'd expect in terms of the dimensions on the outside but um, if you live in the city it's a good buy all right guys that's a look at the 2023 Mercedes AMG GLA 45 SUV it's a good balance of power practicality and money about 69,000 almost 400 horsepower However, it's a two liter inline four engine. So it might be a deal breaker for some of you looking for a V6 um, or slightly larger engine, but you don't compromise on the performance with this car. Um, again, GLA 45 2023 AMG. Subscribe to Mercedes Lounge for weekly Mercedes and Mercedes AMG videos. Until next time guys, stay positive, but test negative. Peace.